Hey everybody, Katie with REI here today. We are gonna be talking about how much fuel to bring on a backpacking trip. This is a really common question and something that's really tricky to guesstimate and something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So today we are gonna do an experiment and get to the bottom of it for science. All right, so first things first, in order to figure out how much fuel we need to bring on a trip, the first thing we have to figure out is how many boils we're going to need to do over the course of that trip. So if, for example, I'm going on a three night solo backpacking trip, I'm gonna need to boil water for three rehydrated meals for dinner and three hot drinks in the morning. I tend to eat cold breakfast, so that doesn't need to factor in for me, but in sum, for my three night trip, I'm gonna to need to boil six total boils. Your average rehydrated meal is gonna take 500 milliliters, half a liter, or two cups of water, and my hot drinks in the morning are about the same, so each boil that we're gonna calculate here is 500 milliliters of water. So, for each 500 milliliter of water, we're gonna figure out how much fuel it takes to boil that amount of water. Um, we can do a little bit of math at the end of the video here to extrapolate if it takes X amount of fuel to boil 500 milliliters of water, how many total boils do we have in the can? Uh, one caveat here is that if you cook rice or pasta or anything that requires cooking time rather than just boiling the water and pour, pouring it in a bag to rehydrate, as we do the experiment here, you're also going to look at burn time for one boil. All right, so in our experiment today, we are trying to figure out how much fuel it takes to boil a half liter of water. We're gonna go ahead and do that by weight. This is a 100 gram canister of fuel, um, and that 100 grams refers to how much fuel is in here. But for this experiment to work, we actually need to get the total weight of the fuel and the container it's in. So you can do this by using a kitchen scale at home or this handy dandy dangly scale that I have here. So this one, and I'll turn this around for you in a moment, looks like 217 grams for the fuel and the container it's in. So we're gonna go ahead and write that down. 217 grams is our total starting weight. So as I get this set up here, we're gonna talk about a couple caveats to the experiment we're doing. Number one is that these are ideal conditions. When you go out into the field, those conditions are going to change and it's good to keep that in mind. But our ideal conditions today will give us a baseline to calculate off of. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that this experiment is gonna give us numbers um, for this particular stove. This is just an old MSR stove I have. It's a couple years old, but if you're doing this experiment ho at home, by all means, use your stove, your fuel, so that you get numbers that are most accurate for your gear setup. Um, the last thing that think about here is science, though it may be, we are not being super precise with what we're doing here today. So this is about 500 milliliters of water. And when we boil this water here, I'm gonna set a timer going, and I'm gonna start and stop the timer about when the water boils, but I don't have a thermometer in here telling me exactly when it hits the right number of degrees to be boiling. I'm just looking for rolling bubbles. So keep in mind, there's a margin of error, but that being said, let's get this experiment going. All right, so we've boiled our water. We let this cool down a little bit. But since we've got our numbers here, we'll start with this. In order to boil our half liter of water here, it took us two minutes and 12 seconds. So for one boil, we have two minutes and 12 seconds of burn time. Now what we wanna figure out is how much fuel it took to boil that half liter of water. So in order to do that, since we weighed our fuel canister beforehand, we're gonna weigh our fuel canister again and see what numbers we get. So our canister now weighs 209 grams, which means we used eight grams of fuel in our process to boil half liter of water. Now we can do a little bit of math. We know that this canister, when it's full and brand new, has 100 grams of fuel in it. If we divide 100 grams of fuel by eight grams used for one boil, we get 12.5. So that means that this canister has 12.5 total boils of worth of fuel in the canister there. I'll tell you a secret, while you weren't looking, we actually did this experiment and burned through an entire can of fuel. As it turns out, our number of 12.5 boils per 100 gram canister was pretty accurate. We got 12 full boils of a half liter of water and on the 13th boil, the fire sputtered out partway through before our water was done. So 12.5 boils. 
we could also do a little bit of math with our time to figure out how much burn time is in this canister. So since it took us two minutes and 12 seconds to do one boil, we can multiply that number by 12.5 to get the total amount of burn time in this canister, ideally. The thing to keep in mind is that this is an unregulated stove. And so what that means is as you do each successive boil, as the fuel depletes in this canister, the pressure of the fuel in the canister also decreases, which means it takes a little bit longer with each boil to get your water boiling. So if you were using a regulated stove, our numbers here, eight grams of fuel, two minutes and 12 seconds of burn time, times 12.5 in this entire canister would be pretty consistent all the way until the canister was done. All right, so conclusions. We got 12.5 boils out of this 100 gram canister of fuel. But remember, that's in ideal conditions. When you go backpacking, when you're out in the field there, conditions will not be ideal. That's the fun of it, but just to play it safe, we're gonna go ahead and say there are 10 solid boils in this 100 gram canister of fuel. If we think back to that hypothetical three night solo backpacking trip in which we need six boils in order to have hot food and hot drinks every morning. For six boils, if we go, this canister has 10 solid boils in it, this one single small 100 gram canister will do just fine for our trip. If you're like me and you have lots of partially empty canisters laying around in your gear bins, go ahead and check out some of our next videos to figure out how much fuel is in that half empty canister. Until then, have fun, and we will see you next time.